So be careful. Jesus that Christ. Yeah, like I said, they have a population problem around here. What are you? That was priceless. Thank you for that. You don't need to be that afraid. It's not like it's a cage is fucking going to do anything. I tried. Fucking asshole. What what kind of sound was that anyway? What kind of sound did you make that right there? <laughs> what sound? I don't know any sound you're talking about. What the fuck was that? <laughs> I don't know any sound you're talking about. No, drink it, it's fine. I think it uh, either restores your health or restores your Estus flasks. It's just soup, so. So, if you wanna become a sun, bro, you can do that right now. Do it. I picked it up. Do it. Become a sun, bro, do it. Equip but, it. But do I'm it. gonna. Do but, it. But you I'm... wanna be a sun, bro, do it. No, I wanna be a mad bro. No, you wanna be a sun, bro. Come on, man. Do you praise the sun? Praise it, motherfucker. Look, if I join your covenant and then leave it, I'm gonna have some sort of flipping. Oh, no, 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 you don't understand. You don't just quit the sun, bro. No, no, that's a commitment for life, motherfucker. Now do it. <laughs> no. <laughs> you will do it now. Now. No. Praise the sun. No, I'm taking a stance. Into You're gonna your take sun. this torch up your butt if you don't fucking praise the sun, motherfucker. I hate the sun. The flame is eternal. <laughs> I don't know what he was trying to do there, but he's gonna eat some damage for it. Oh, he's trying to kick your shield away. Yeah, I noticed. You don't work out very well for him, though. Nope. <laughs> Oh, he's moving me towards the enemies, huh? Not cool, bro. Not cool. I do like his arm and weapon, though. I definitely want to go uh, big ass. Oh my god, how did I miss? Dude, no! Yeah, see, it's impossible to fucking hit anybody with a goddamn miracle. Oh, what? He didn't die? No! Dude, you're weaker than normal. <laughs> I keep forgetting that. Ah, he killed me. God damn. <clears throat> okay, it's up to you then. Right, I'll get to the next bonfire so I'm ready for you. Bro, oh, it is a big ass sword. So here comes one of the early game uh, places that's really fucking annoying. Because you're gonna be do going down this narrow corridor with enemies and there's one of those fat Evangelist bitches up above and she's just hurling that fucking miracle that's uh, homing me so at you. Oh, fuck. By the but way, first get item over there. Have you noticed something? Uh, there's something about the world is that there's roots everywhere. Like there's vines and roots, encompasses everything. Yep. You'll find out why very soon, by the way. I'm assuming it's gonna be linked to the boss, but uh, that's just my theory. Yeah, but even then, it's like the pilgrims, they had roots coming out from those shell things. Too, by the way. Yeah, that's cool. Personally, right now, I'm doing a 10 to 5, but since What's I'm in your world. Yeah. Hmm? Well, guess where they came from. I mean, if you look in that general direction, you can guess. Yeah, I see him. <laughs> By the way, last session when we played, turns out I was wrong. There is a way to get the ring without killing the giant. Because end game, uh, I told you my world changed, right? Apparently, that's not the only thing that changed. I, I felt like uh, since we talked about him, I wanted to go visit the bro. And I was worried because on my way there, I couldn't see him. And I didn't hear him throwing any spears. And when I got up there, it turns out that at the end of the game, for some reason, I don't know how or if it's, uh, if I did something or whether it always happens in the end game, but he was dead. And so I got the ring from him. Oh, man. He dies. The, the bro dies, unfortunately. So I'm going to trigger everything. And assuming I don't die, just run inside as fast as you can and help me. Okay. 
So I'm gonna run three seconds ahead of you, okay? Uh -huh. Just follow me. Okay, here we go. One, two, three. Whoa. If you can get inside, get inside. Ah! Run, run, run. Oh, okay, we're safe. We're cool. It's all good now. <laughs> Oh, there's an item back there, in the house. No, Don't worry there. about it, we'll get it on the way back. Yeah, go back for it. Flowers? Why yeah, are flowers going in the part. stone? Oh, the stone is cracked, so they're coming through the cracks. I guess, just kind of weird. So, boss area. that area over there up ahead, as you can probably guess by the size, is a boss fight. This is an entirely optional area. You do not need to fight the boss there. And true? right below this boss is where actually the pit of holes is, where your covenant is. So all the oh. filth that uh, the settlement's experiencing, they tried to bury it all here, and all the curses here, and all the curses are gonna manifest here. In that giant ash tree. Unless it's, bi unless it's a bigger fucking enemy, because that thing's moving. <clears throat> also, here's the... F Kicker of all. Beating this boss gives you the uh, gives you a cune that will help you transmute souls into weapons. So yeah, if you want boss weapons, you gotta kill this option. So it's boss. not an optional area. That you was... can beat the game without doing no, this. No. So it's an optional one. No. What's Dark Souls about boss weapons? There's no option. You have to go and kill him. <laughs> anyway, by, let's keep progressing. By the way, when I say you, I mean you. Uh huh. Yeah. Go on. Mm. Fuck you, stupid lord. I command you! No! You! <laughs> no! This is where we're gonna get your Pyromancer boss. What? The master of all Pyromancy is in this area, so probably the most important NPC for you. I can tell by the smoke. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're funny. Bloodborne vibes. So it's not gonna charge out with mist, is it? Nah. And why did you do that? <laughs> I, I pressed the wrong button. Do you have to be so fucking judgmental? <laughs> uh, so over there on the left is where you use the key to get down to the area where that fat bitch is. And there's a very interesting thing down there that I'm not gonna spoil for you. We're gonna, when you get the key and we go there, I'm gonna show it to you. Awesome. Oh, I love this area down here. It's got one of my favorite things in the game. Anyway, there's a ladder up ahead and you can open the door that leads to your shortcut. So hurry up and go do that. I'll wait for you back at the bridge. <laughs> How about you? Oh, all the way. <laughs> Asshole. Hmm. Another one of those unkindled, are you? All you faceless undead, behaving as if you deserve respect. Hmm. No matter. Heed my words. If you've any sense, you go find a coffin to huddle up inside. You, here, in this land of hollows. You're like a frail maiden on the front lines. If, like the others, you're fool enough to play the champion, then go on ahead. Trapes right past the abandoned church. You'll face death. And it won't be pretty. Enough death to leave you broken. Time after time. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, just another tip considering how fast we're burning for content, every time you get back at Firelink Shrine, you might wanna check for new dialogue with all your NPCs and stuff. That's right. Plus, from time to time, some unique NPCs are gonna pop up and disappear, so you also need to keep an eye on that. Hmm. Uh, next section then. Alright, so if you come in here, you'll notice that over there there's somebody caged. That's the person that uh, this knight is uh, uh, protecting. 
and looking over. So we need to go through the area below with the key in order to get to her, and she's the one that uh, is in charge of miracles. I see. But it's not that simple, because remember, like I said, Souls games hate miracles. So if you if you give her the wrong types of miracles, you can corrupt her and you can end up killing her or you can end up like uh, ruining her life like entirely fucking her up in a very fucking sick and twisted way. Understood. Because remember in this game there are dark miracles. Darkness. So yeah, uh, I'm assuming from what this guy was talking to you about, you feel uh, you feel like he's a total shithead and a dick, right? Not really. I mean, he talk. I don't. Is he not undead? I don't know. Uh, I says don't remember much. Of... He says well, like you are dead in this land of hollows, so he like, may be human. He always uh, he always left me when I was playing for the game with that vibe that he's a fucking douchebag, a dick, and an asshole. But there is one very specific hard to get line of dialogue that completely redeems him in my in my eyes. Like absolutely completely redeems him. Like if you think about it, this is a callback to Demon Souls as well. Maiden Astrea and her knight. True. And in that very specific line of dialogue, if you <coughs> Give that woman corrupted miracles and you corrupt her. Like he literally steals her from the shrine, and the shrine takes her away because uh, he's like, I I trusted you to take care of her and look at what you've done. You insolent fool, now I'll kill you and stuff like that. And you fight him to the death and you can bring her back to your shrine with all corrupted and stuff. And if you put his gauntlet on because the woman's like, please touch me. Uh, I, I'm so alone because uh, I think uh, like from all the darkness like she's blind and deaf or something and she needs to feel the warmth of somebody else because she always keeps talking about small bugs nibbling at her from the dark just like my dark miracle that's basically insects that teach you alive and if you touch her with his glove she'll think that it's him and she's gonna be like uh, please fulfill your promise and ki kill me why do you let me suffer like he uh, there's uh, there's one of two options for me. Either he uh, because he's a, uh, he's uh, he's her loyal knight and he's meant to serve her until death. Either he he is using her as an excuse to not go hollow. Oh, she's alive. I need to keep serving her. I can't hollow out. Or he loves her and cares for her so deeply that he cannot bring himself to kill her, and that made him very bitter and cynical in the end because he realizes that he is letting her suffer because of his own weakness. I see. And like like I said, just one that one line from her dialogue when she thinks that uh, you are him, like completely redeems this guy in my eyes. Whatever it is, whether it is out of selfish want or whether it is out of his own cowardice, that's what makes a character dude. That very, very personal motivation. Like, that just makes him such a unique and amazing existence in this game, and I love it, love him for it. Mm -hmm. Anyway, you'll notice that there's a fog gate here. I don't know, uh, for me it is. For you, I'm assuming there's also a gate. Mm -hmm. And we can't go there, because uh, this is the optional area. That's basically like a zone between two areas. You can't summon me there for the optional area, you can't summon me for the cool guy you're gonna meet or for the giant you're gonna meet. You're basically gonna have to progress through this tower alone and on the other side on the path of sacrifice, then you can summon me. Understood. <clears throat> now, let's go back and get your Pyromancer, buddy. Pyromancer! Because, guess what? Unlike miracles, Pyromancy and sorceries do not need fucking keys, do not hidden, need cryptic hidden bullshit and any hindrances. Miracles are the only ones that are always fucked. What? Hey! What? Twice? <laughs> <laughs> you got to the next. <laughs>